Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, then hello, my name is Megha and I do post fashion and makeup related content on my channel. And if you're someone who loves makeup, skincare, etc., then you should go and subscribe to my channel. With that, hit the bell icon so that you are notified every time a new video is up on my channel. And today's video is gonna be a bit of informative video because we are going to discuss AM to PM skincare routine. And this is obviously not something which I am saying. I attended an online workshop workshop where, where the doctor suggested us to use many products and like for each skin type she told us which product should be used and what is the skincare regime we should follow so yeah if you're interested to know what your skin actually wants and what you should give to your skin then please keep on watching and yeah i'm wearing lenses for the first time i am absolutely loving how this lens looks like this is from sky cosmetic lenses and this is how the packaging looks like so yeah i absolutely love this uh, lenses and this is not sponsored obviously it's not sponsored i purchased the lenses and also before we start, well, I just want to let you know that I'm doing a one hour workshop on Zoom on 26th June 5 p.m. If you are interested to learn tips and tricks about makeup and do a Q&A with me because it will be a live tutorial. So you can ask as much as questions you want in that one hour and I'll be teaching you a soft pink bridal kind of look. So if you're interested, you can join my workshop. I'll give my WhatsApp number as well as my Instagram handle just below in the description and you can DM me or message me on WhatsApp and I'll let you know further details and I've kept the fee really very minimal it's just rupees 249 so that many people can join and they don't have any problem issue with like the budget so yeah if you're interested you can join the online workshop and if you have friends and families who are a makeup lover as as much as you are then you can share it with them also further details you'll find it on my like instagram or on my whatsapp just dm okay. me Firstly, we'll start with our AM routine. I have everything jotted down because obviously it's a lot of information I'll forget. So I did not want to miss even a single information. So I've jotted everything down, whatever the doctor told. So firstly, we'll start with our AM uh, skincare routine. So basically, it's 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 normal everybody knows what a basic skincare routine should be but i just want to say that for uh, but i just wanted to make this thing clear that it is not necessary for you to do each and every step every day the three steps which are really very important in your am skincare routine is cleanser moisturizer and sunscreen and in between toner serum eye cream uh, essence all these are just add-ons and only these three things are really very important not even toner is really very important only cleanser moisturizing and sunscreen is really very important in your am routine and in your pm routine you just remove the sunscreen and input a uh, night cream in your daily skincare routine like cleanser moisturizer and night cream but nowadays due to pollution due to our eating habits due to our modern lifestyle we need to take care of skin of our skin like more properly and more religiously and that's why this add-ons are there so that your skin gets extra nutrients your skin gets extra hydration moisturizing and so your skin looks radiant and glowy and does not get uh, like wrinkles and all these things really very soon so in the morning skin. obviously you'll not have any makeup on so the first step is using a facial cleanser so if you need to use a cleanser which suits your skin type now for different skin types there are different kind of cleansers such as for oily skin you need to use a cleanser with aha and bha in it because these are really very good good ingredients for oily skin now next up we have acne prone skin for which salicylic acid is a very very good ingredient you should have on your facial cleanser then we have is a dry skin type now dry skin type you need to use a cleanser which is soap free which does not have sulfate in it foam free fragrance free color free and fragrance and color are like optional sensitive skin type you should make sure that your product does not have any color any fragrance any foam or any soap in it but dry skin people make sure you use a like cream 
gel like consistency and not something which has a lot of foam and soap in it so make sure you use a facial cleanser which suits your skin type and normal skin type people we are blessed with a uh, amazing skin type like you can use whatever suits you so yeah that is about facial cleansing the next up we have exfoliating now exfoliating is something you don't need to do it daily now for oily skin people you need to do it twice a week and for acne prone skin people also you need to use it twice a week like you need to exfoliate your pores and dirt so that the dead cells which you have on your surface gets removed now exfoliation is a process where like the above the first layer of your skin gets removed the dead cells gets removed and it is really very necessary for us to remove that layer because when you go out and when you like sit in front of light or anything like if you again go in pollution in our daily lifestyle that dead cells tend to absorb all the uv rays all the pollution and due to which your skin looks really very dull and does not look radiant and this is the reason we need to exfoliate our skin frequently but it again matters which skin type you are if you are an oily skin type you need to uh, exfoliate twice a week if you are acne prone skin type then you again need to exfoliate twice a week but if you are a dry skin type uh, you need to like exfoliate once every fourth night and if you are a sensitive skin type once every 2 weeks or even 3 weeks would be really very sufficient now uh, now all this exfoliation which i told you like how many times you need to do is about mechanical exfoliator and exfoliation and it is not about chemical exfoliation now there is chemical exfoliation and there is mechanical exfoliation which is physical exfoliation so yeah whatever i told is about physical exfoliation now after we cleanse our face really very well and our skin our face is really very uh, squeaky clean now the next step is to use a toner now a toner is something which will help you uh, fill up your pores and gives your skin a more hydrated more radiant kind of glow so basically you need to choose a toner which is alcohol free you're not supposed to use a toner which has alcohol in it because obviously it's going to harm your skin so make sure there are a lot of uh, products in the market which are alcohol free so you can use those products and your skin will look really very nice and it won't harm your skin and that's what we need for our skin now the fourth step is using a essence now what is an essence an essence is just a water based a liquid it is like similar to a serum but it is it has more positive ingredients in it so that is why we use essence just before serum because essence has more ingredients more positive ingredients and we want our skin to absorb like more nutrients more products in it like more ingredient in it so we use essence now, essence works best for like oily and acne prone skin type it works good for a dry skin type and sensitive skin type also but for sensitive skin it is like you don't need you don't want to use a lot of products because you don't know which product is going to harm you and you don't know which product is going to suit you or not and for dry skin people obviously it works for dry skin people also but it works really very well for oily and acne prone skin types so next up after essence we'll be using a serum now serum is also like an essence like they are in the same category of kind of thing but obviously they are different products but it's kind of similar because both are oil uh, like liquid based and they have a lot of positive ingredient in it and it just gets absorbed really very quickly and our skin looks really very glowy radiant hydrated now what the doctor told us is you should use serum only if you are 30 plus and if you are 30 below just avoid using serum because it is not something everybody should use like essence would work much more properly than using a serum so 30 plus whoever is aged between 25 and above or 30 and above should opt serum and below that it's your choice to opt to like opt it for not inculcate it or not but most probably it's it's okay to skip this like completely till you are 30 but as as soon as you reach your 30 like early 30s or 30 then you need to like start using serum so that your face looks more glowy and it does not look dull so yeah that was about serum now next up is moisturizer this is our sixth step now for oily skin you need to use a moisturizer which has emollient in it now there is a moisturizer named emollient or something i guess that is best best for like all skin type but it is like amazing for oily skin type i like 
I am not able to like recognize the name, but I get emollient or something. So yeah, that's best for oily skin type. Now for dry skin type, you need to uh, choose something which is really, really very moisturizing, which has cocoa butter in it, which has shea butter in it, glycerin in it, and squalene in it. All these products which are really very moisturizing, which literally hydrates and moisturizes your skin really very well. You need to make sure that you use that kind of moisturizer. I'm using one moisturizer which is from Simple. I'll quickly show you that moisturizer. This is the moisturizer and I swear this is really very hydrating. Now for sensitive skin type people, again you need to choose something which does not have fragrance in it. You need to choose something which does not have color in it. And something which is lightweight and will just moisturize your skin really very nicely and hydrate it really very properly now the last step is to use a sunscreen which is a real must must it is a must product as soon as you step out of your house you need to protect your skin with a thick layer of sunscreen and this is what will avoid your skin from getting tanned and so suppose if you're applying makeup and you're stepping out of your house so you need to make sure you use a water-based sunscreens or makeup products which has spf in it so that you have double protection because sometimes sunscreens tend to make your base looks really very cakey so it's very very important that you use a mild water-based sunscreen and above that you use products which has SPF in it and this way you literally protect your skin with a lot of layers of SPF and that's when you protect your skin from getting tanned or from getting discolored. So this is what you need to put if you are applying makeup and if you're not applying makeup you just bare face then you need to apply thick layer of the normal cream based sunscreen and you're good to go. Now for oily skin type you need to use water based matte gel based sunscreens now these are the uh, like categories you need to dive in now for dry skin people you need to use any cream based sunscreen with, which has less mineral in it which has less mineral in it again sensitive skin people you need to use something which has no fragrance no color and also it has very less mineral in it like zinc oxide and titanium trioxide so since this video is going a, a little too long if you like this video then i'll do a pm routine in the next video because i don't want to upload a long video so yeah we'll stop it here and this was about the am skincare routine and out of this only three is really very important which is cleansing moisturizing and sunscreen and pm routine we'll do it in the next video if you like this video then please give it a big thumbs up and Looking at the response uh, in this video, I'll see if I'll make the PM skincare routine or not. I'll meet you in my next video. Until then, take care. Goodbye.